Louisville's Scott Satterfield has taken the Cincinnati head coaching job. That's right. He is the new head man of the Cincinnati Bearcats. And yes, these two teams play each other in the Fenway Bowl in just a few weeks. How's that for awkward? Right, The Fenway Bowl got canceled the last two years because of uh, COVID uh, situations and whatnot. But uh, this go-round, the Louisville coach is leaving to be the Cincinnati coach, which is strange, obviously, because, one, these two teams used to be rivals when they were both in the American, right? Uh, and really, way back when they were both in Conference USA and et cetera, et cetera. Much more so on the basketball side than football, but either way. But Satterfield, you know, a lot of people questioning this morning, why on earth would he do this? Well, at Cincinnati, we know that they are committed to the football program. Uh, Louisville is still somewhat considered a basketball school, right? Uh, Now, I understand all the situation going on with Kenny Payne right now. That's not a very good team right now. But that program is the front porch. The basketball program is the front porch of Louisville's university, even though the football program makes the majority of the money. Uh, The other side of this is Satterfield has kind of been on the hot seat for years at this point. Like, they have been talking about wanting him gone every game. It feels like he is coaching for his job there, and he was told by the current AD that he was going to be retained, but there was no extension in sight, and he's only got two years left on his deal. So, can you blame him for looking out for uh, maybe a little more job security? I, I don't blame him at all for that. At you At Cincinnati, this is a good thing. You get a guy that has a Power 5 experience, a guy that joined a, a football program that is Uh, that had been on the back end of a transition. Now you're going to hire him in to be in the middle of a transition over to the Big 12. Um, This is a guy that built an incredible foundation at Appalachian State, I guess, or Appalachian, however you want to say it. Uh, He built an incredible, incredible foundation for what App State has been able to do for years and years, even after he left. At Louisville, it just never felt like there was any ground for him to stand on, even though they've done an incredible job recruiting. I think this kind of tells you, though, he knew that he wasn't the one getting those recruits in. And this has been something that's been rumored about for quite some time, but Louisville wanted to push their NIL stuff forward a little bit. They had a five-star coming in. I think they were number 18 at 247 or Rivals or whatever it is. Like, a really, really good recruiting class for that football program. Why would you go ahead and leave it? Well, because all that's doing is setting you up to where if you don't do something with those recruits in year one, you're probably going to lose your job next year. Because it's not like they came to you with an offer for an extension. Uh, and so with all this, Louisville is now looking for a head coach. We're back on Jeff Brom watch, right? That's what we're sitting at. We, we are sitting on Jeff Brom watch. And I mean, I'm very curious. Uh, he's not told anybody at Purdue, at least according to uh, Greg Doyle and, and other people around that Purdue program. I'm curious what he ends up doing here. Like, do you, you just won the Big Ten West, but it was obvious that you were not the best team in the Big Ten. Divisions are about to go away. What is going to happen with, with that situation? Does he want to go back to Louisville where maybe it's a little bit easier to win in the ACC? Maybe you're going to get a lot more money. What, what are you looking at? What do you want your life to be? That's a, that's a big time question. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.